My name's Casey Wire, PGA Professional. I'm going to teach you how to hit a bump and run shot. We got the club, we got a golf ball. A bump and run shot is very similar to a chip shot. And the way we're going to get set up for this is we're going to have a fairly narrow stance so that the feet are kind of directly underneath our hip joints. So those shoelaces are right underneath their hips, so a pretty narrow stance. Then we're going to have the ball placed toward the back foot or toward your right foot for a right-hander. The difference between a, a, a chip and a bump and run, usually with the bump and runs, they're longer first of all, so usually you're going to have to use a lower iron like a 9, uh, an 8, or a pitching wedge. Uh, chip shots, you can use anything down to a sand wedge or even lob wedge uh, to get a chip shot going. For the bump and run, uh, like I said, we put the ball toward the back foot. As we set up to it, the hands are directly in front of where your zipper is. So when you look down, the, the, uh, the handle of the club should be in front of the ball. And it's going to stay that way pretty much the whole time through impact. Because I'm not going to use any hands on this. You'll notice as I turn back, the club does not get above my hands. The club head stays below my hands the entire time, even on the forward swing. So it's a very level stroke, very shallow stroke, and it's meant to come out low and running the rest of the way to the, uh, to the hole. And my name's Casey Wire, and that's how you hit a bump and run shot.